Hello, good morning. What's up, everybody? I'm actually training Joe as to what it what it looks like when we uh, turn the stream on. Joe's furiously taking notes just off camera right now because when I'm away at Barcelona, there's a good chance, no pressure on Joe. She's obviously allowed to make whatever schedule she wants. There's a good chance for a Joe takeover doing an eyebrow thing. That's, oh, now my eyebrows are tired. That's way too much exercise for 9 a.m. So yeah, I unmuted and then I hit booth and now we're here. Yes, and then when it comes time for me to actually want to play, you can't see this chat. I take chat and I move it to here in its normal little spot. And then depending on how much you want to see chat, you can either cover OBS so they see nothing, or if you want to see it out of the corner of your eye, you can move it onto that monitor. Yeah. Yeah. And then we load the game. And then if you take a look at OBS, uh, for this game, I like to have the camera in the top right. So I hit the top right button. High five. Goodbye, my love. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're slowly, we're slowly training Joe. And uh, there's a good chance maybe one of these mornings we'll have her do the intro just so that she can get some practice every, setting everything up. But I'll be here in case anything happens so she has any questions. I don't know. I'm very excited. Where are we? Welcome to part two of two days before both the Tuna event and the famous director event, which is very funny. Good morning, Inglonius. Yeah, we are midway through chapter three, which is pretty exciting. We're chilling, we're partying like a rock star. Mm. You've helped some of your streaming friends learn to set up their streams. Your setup may be a little bit more in-depth than my own. Well, I've been doing it professionally five years now. So we've invested a little bit in some infrastructure. And Joe has streamed on the channel before. Uh, things that have changed though. So since the last Joe takeover, we now have a stream deck. So Joe used to have to like click on the buttons on OBS. And now we have a stream deck that handles all of that. And probably the thing that's more unintuitive, but actually super duper handy is we have a, a mini, like a, it's actually called a GoXLR mini. We have a small soundboard. Uh, and I can understand how a stream deck and a soundboard would be intimidating. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to take a lot of that fear and a lot of that uncertainty away by being like, yeah, this is the exact same thing you're doing before. Uh, now it's just one button push. All right, so I think what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to teleport right down to the sea. So what we've been doing for our days so far is we've been streaming, basically, streaming is the wrong word. We've been swimming basically from the surface all the way down. And we've been spending like 40 minutes per dive, which has been fun and it's been very chill. But uh, I wonder what happens if I just went straight under the sea. You know what I mean? So I'm fairly certain I already have the food I need. Oh, I have to go to the record chambers. Never mind. <laughs> I I actually do have to swim all the way from the top to the bottom this time. That's very funny because I have to go to the record chamber. All right. Everything I said, I take back. We're going to swim from the very top to the very bottom this time. Oh, my God. Uh, that kind of cracks me up. Oh, and I want to grab a different gun this time. Uh, I think, what is the best tuna killing gun? I don't know if it's the sniper rifle, because they're they're so tanky. I can't afford the electrical upgrade because I need more jellyfish. I think maybe we just bring the net gun again and we see how lucky we get. Ah, no, what I do need though is I need to buy, there we go, a trigger bomb trap, maybe? That might help us, that might help us deal with a couple of tunas. All right, all right, into the sea. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. 
There's a lot of places you could be at 9 a.m. Pacific, yet you're choosing to hang out in this cozy little corner of the internet. I appreciate that. Uh, activate. All right. So we're going to not get distracted. We're going to focus on tuna. And that's about it. I don't know what that Q button means. So if I put this here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I pick it back up after? No, come back. Come back. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Come back. Come back, you fools. Dang it. All right. This is fine. Now we check the weapon boxes. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How are you this fine morning? Hope you're having just a fantastic day. Oh, seahorse. Oh, seahorse. Stayed up too late, now you're having a cozy coffee morning. Well, cozy coffee mornings are delightful. So that's good, at the very least. All right, here's where we're going to get the electrical tip. You ready? Oh my god, we got it! <laughs> oh! Tuna's back on the menu, chat. Oh my god. Ow. Oh, we're going to have so much tuna. Currently melting in Europe right now. Well, that's not good news because I have to go to Europe soon. Oops. That was not what I wanted to catch. <laughs> All right, Goldie, you're out. It's actually... Boo. It's actually quite chill in Victoria today. It's currently about 14 degrees with a high of 21. Which, you know what? For July? Not all that bad. How much damage did that do to all of them? I think it did 24 to each one the electrical current went around. Sounds like a beautiful July day, right? Hello. Alright, so they do a short swim this time. How's the smell? I We haven't smelt it at all where we live. What? I went right through them. How's that possible? Currently 25 or you are with a high of 34. Toasty. Oh my god. Prairie thunderstorms on a warm summer day are one of my favorite things, Mama Tats. All right, uh, we should use the... I mean, we could use it for a shark later on. Come back here. Okay, you try this again. Ow. This is something to watch for. All right, two down. Dang it. Got him. All right, there we go. Considering last dive, we had a total of zero tuna. <laughs> 
Uh, getting three so far is huge, right? All right, this is where we're going to get Lightning Tip, the second upgrade. You ready for it? Oh, <laughs> Tranquilizer Tip. Honestly, not that hyped for that. Cheap Katana. Nah. Tuna in a sushi restaurant? I know. This is that outside-the-box thinking that really sets Bancho Sushi apart from its competitors. I remember there's a different kind of tuna, and they live up here. Cooking ingredients. Common cat food. Boo! There they are. Oh, they're so zoomy! All right. Shock Harpoon the first. It's okay. This is going to be the squeaky hammer. Or not. Momo was no common cat. That's fair. I'm sorry. Ow! <laughs> Alright, we are in... How much are they hitting me for? About 10? I'm just wondering if it's worth it to tank it so I can get a guaranteed hit every time they fly by. And I think I've decided it is. Oh, absolutely worth it. Oh, this is new! Oh, yeah. Let's go. Nerdbot put the part four in a spoiler in Discord because of the lines. Oh, that's very funny, Takash. I didn't realize that that's how. <laughs> huh. Wow, look at all this tuna. <laughs> did it make it extra? Did it look it make it look like extra risque or something like Takash? We're like, oh my god, what is Snurge saying? I have to click on that link. Hello. Whatever, take the man tray away. Oh. What's this? Poison tip? No. Oh, whale photo time! Okay, 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 okay. We learned last time. You know what? I don't care about the splashing water. I'm just going to take this photo. Because look at that. Look at that beautiful baby whale with a smile on its face. It's perfect. All right. I'm very quickly going to check up here. Nice. Because that's what I was looking for. Get more of that seaweed. You just finished the main story like an hour ago. There's so much of this game. Awesome. I think I am going to try and focus a little bit harder on the story today, and that's specifically because... Actually, here, this is like kind of a no-spoiler talk. How many hours did it take you, Takash, to finish the storyline? Because my concern is I have... Um, 
I have a very busy month ahead of me. <laughs> I am so busy. Uh, and I want to make sure I finish this before I leave for the better part of, like, two weeks. You know what I mean? You know what? Let's take the head. No. I'm going to ditch this cat food. It's only one kilo. It's not even worth dropping. 35. Seven chapters. Okay. What do I drop? What do I drop? Brooke is 44 hours in. Okay. There's also an epilogue. Yikes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ditch the shark. Uh, Corflux, thank you very, very, very much for 100 biddies. Greetings, fellow divers. <laughs> Setting in for another work and lurk. Delightful. Ooh, look at this. We've upgraded our net gun again. And so it begins. You might have been able to do it faster. You had several wiped days of diving. What does that mean? Does that mean you were killed under the sea? Rude. I got inked. Yeah, no O2. Okay. Why are there so many fish? Oh, this is new. This used to be empty before. This is, I wouldn't say this is so many fish. There's like three fish in here, my dude. And a barracuda. Oh my god, and a predator. So one of the things that I think I, I mean, again, I'm not going to try and like turbo through the game, but I do think, um, unless we're very specifically looking for like side quests sort of stuff, I'm just going to start teleporting and starting my day down in the sea people area, you know? I could ditch this barracuda meat, but it's fine. Ooh. What's this? Sesame seed. <gasps> and a pink shell. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's time to ditch some barracuda meat. <laughs> We're so heavy now. Holy moly. Can I get under the weight? No. Plotstone is two kilos. How dare they? You know what? Sorry, Sharkhead. Dave's got to move fast. <laughs> oh, there's a seahorse. Can't see blue absolutely wreck you. Wasted a dive the other day. Devastating. Nope. Oh, there's Dino over there. What if Dino has the skull that I need? You know, I'm not even going to pick up the bone. Ow! I want that bowl. We have to go deeper. Oh, buckets. I need these. I need these for their, their zappy fins. So I can upgrade things. Yes! The electrical organ. I need three electrical organs. 
got one. That's fine. Uh, you should give me a flashlight. Hmm. There's one fish you really struggle with. If you encounter it and can't get it with your sniper rifle, you just die. That sucks. Cost you like five dives so far? Devastating. Maybe it's just kind of like you treat it like a roguelike and eventually you learn its attack pattern and you're like, oh, I got there. But yeah, that's fair. Some things just hard counter you. Every game I've played, I always have that one enemy that I'm like, you suck. <laughs> How dare you? Is this the whalebone room? Yes, it is. <gasps> Sorry, crab friend. I need to see if there's a dinosaur head in that in those ruins. And for that, I need you to die. was there. I was in fact not there. I have to go down even deeper. <laughs> Leave me alone, mouthfish, whatever your name is. Okay, you get free air in here too. Not only do you not use O2, but it tops you up. All right, two quests we want to do in this area. And they've given me new quests. I need to give, yes. You know what, is it time to take the Beluga? Four dollars. You know what, that's fine. Oh my God, you're so cute. Oh my god. Look at its little hat. <gasps> Yo, what? Look at this. Oh, this is absolutely worth $4. What do you think? All right. You have no idea there's so much fantasy to this game. It's very cute. Hunt spider crab. Collect three nautilus. Wait, why does it say 36 nautilus? I could deliver those. I have 36. Where do I deliver them? How could I possibly have 36? Oh my god, it doesn't count. I assumed I had to have it on me. So good at this game. You know what? 
This is going to set me back on my other thing, but I have whatever. I don't care. Whatever. I love that they, they have an underwater water wheel. <laughs> Hello. I have porridge for you. Oh, this is... It's coral porridge. You should eat it and rest. How can a human make our food? Put it there and go. I have to check if it's been poisoned. What an unreasonable sea person. Whatever. Oh, interesting. I just realized uh, there's no depth meter in the lower left corner. We exist in a place beyond depth. That's the power of King Long flexing away all of, all of the pressure. Oh, also from now on, they can only be referred to as precious streams, not previous streams. Best typo ever. <laughs> Do we thri swim through the gazebo or behind the gazebo? Through. Amazing. Oh, right. Of course. That's the cave to the Ice Kingdom. I was wondering where that gate was. Uh, so at some point we have to go and visit a cave somewhere? Question mark. You're looking away while on a loading screen and swam right into a shark. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, goodness, human. This is the one. Thanks to you, we'll be able to have a wedding without any hiccups. Bay. Human. Or Dave, was it? I think if you participated, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. See people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. Wait, is that going to happen literally right now? Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from a human wedding. Is that so? You can stay in the back, it'll begin soon. Oh no! No! That's very inauspicious. Another earthquake. Earths. <laughs> Another earthquake. King Long's arm! My gains! <laughs> I don't have the tools to patch it up. This is not good. It's an omen of an impending disaster. Calm down. Maybe Cobra will have something. I'll try and see if there's anything we can use on the surface. Oh, Dave. King Long, we need your protection. Wait. <laughs> Have more Nautili. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, hold up. Hold up. So, I was, I'm supposed to go to a cave to get a key? I don't know where that cave is, and I'm not going to worry about it today, because I'm also kind of heavy right now. So, I think we're going to call this a day right now and then um we'll tp straight down here for the next one wait i was in the right spot already yeah and this is what i'm talking about shorter shorter days so we can spend more time cooking because if we don't cook we don't make the cash and if we don't make the cash 
We can't upgrade our stuff. I've been too efficient, chat. Stone adhesive for use underwater. Let's see. Oh, good. It was in this corner here. <laughs> this should do. I should go back to the village, see people. I'll go back to the Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long's statue. Hey, what's up, Didi? Crap! Chat, I forgot about the seahorses! Ah, the worst. No mission, only cat food. Honestly, fair. Look at all this tuna. Oh, interesting. We got, oh my god, we got tuna row. That's good stuff. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? A humpback whale? What a gigantic, yet amazing creature. It's famous for its love of family. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. There are photo spots all over. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. I think Udo's voice might be my favorite. <laughs> of the three voices I do, Udo's the best voice. Oh, well, well. Is that a ninja? Itsuki? Chat. Chat. Should I, should I hire a ninja? <clears throat> yes. All right. They look like they've got potential. Those stats. <laughs> do you want a ninja or do you want a qualified applicant? So... The ninja is trained to look unassuming. Ergo. There's got to be something going on under the under the hood there. Let's check the farm real quick before heading home. What's up, Dice Goddess? We are hiring. She only costs $4 to hire? What a steal! <laughs> All right. I also want to keep, oh man, I think I want to just keep leveling up the Raptor because Kyoko, good, good, well, you know, all rounded sort of stuff like that. But this Raptor, this Raptor is lapping her when it comes to service. Oh my God. You have to be level seven to get a current skill. And what I'm thinking is if I want to invest anybody up to level seven, it might be Raptor at this point. Cocktail serving. We have cocktails? And what do you mean you didn't even check her details before you hired her? What details? Who are you? I have a cook? Details. What do you what details are I supposed to check? It's all listed there. One 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 and everything else is locked. I don't know. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah, I was perfect. Very disappointed in you. All right, poke or tuna steak, chat?
Poke. Poke is so hot right now. Even though it's worth less money and less happiness. That's fair. I'll give the people what they want. And it's this cutscene. Wow. Everybody loves Seahorse. What are the ones that are worth the most money? Oh, the puffer fish. So the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bottleneck is actually soy sauce. Fascinating. Let's save that for now. This is worth good money. What game is this? Oh my god, Parabellum. This is Dave the Diver. Actually, my gaudy. Wow, Lionfish is worth like zero dollar e dues. More eel. I need more of that. Uh, you know what? Let's just use it up. Who cares? Why not, right? Upgrade our shrimp dish here. I think I'm happy to eat jellyfish here. Mega Mouth Shark. That's some good eating and some good dollars. Dang, let's go. I don't want to go just by money. I'm trying to find a sweet spot between money and happiness. And I'm also trying not to use up my soy sauce. There. There. All right. Now you want to go diving? Diving? Thanks, Dave. I definitely thought you said I want to go diving. <laughs> I found some of my favorite games are the ones where there's two game modes that feed into each other, kind of like Hades. It it does a really good thing of making it feel not monotonous, right? Um, which was a fascinating conversation I had talking with like game dev friends about. Uh, let's talk about like um, Elder Scroll games or Fallout games, for example. I used to really hate the lock picking or like hacking mini games that you get in a Fallout game. And they're like, it's actually really important to break up the flow so nothing feels boring. So even though it's disruptive, you're like, it's kind of this like calculated disruption to keep the brain fresh. I'm like, well, doesn't that sound clever? <laughs> Fine. I realize I want to go through and upgrade all my other dishes while I still can. So yeah, a game that very like cleverly switches, you know, the game mode back and forth. Keep it fresh, keep you having a good time. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Trout. Marbled Electric Ray Sushi. Oh. What if you just want to snipe people all day? You can just not open loot, you know? <laughs> no one's going to judge you. All right, cooking time, my friends. Oh, oh God, what do I do? What do I do? 
All right, watch how fast this raptor is going to move. Nope, I'm pouring that tea. Get out of here. <laughs> nope, get out of here. Trying to take my very important job. Let's stand by. Oh, there we go. We got some dishes to clear. Raptor zooming. Oh my God, look at that. He's so fast. My guy, my guy. Yeah, let me pour this drink for you. I didn't realize if you clear dishes, that's also worth money. Oh. Am I a lot faster than at the start? I didn't even know that. Good stuff. Yo, we are very close to gold rank. That's fun. Wait, this is new. What is this? Hold on, time out. Live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high button reaches the cursor, press the left and right 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 mouse buttons. Use the mouse to move your hand up and down to hit the green notes. When the air orange note shake the mouse.
I, I'm actually, oh, oh my god, what just happened? A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. <laughs> Every time I think this game peaked, it just gets better. Yeah, I, man, I. <laughs> hey, by the way, Tenzin asked me to bring him the Glacial Passage Key. I must return to Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. Okay, I couldn't find it. Hey, farming report available. All right, let's do that real quick. First off, to the farm. Transmuted Elf, thank you for the 100 biddies. Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. Sushi made with Anam rice is not really original sushi? Ha <laughs> ha! Tuna festivals tomorrow? Yeah, we we're pretty tuna rich. I like. I think. I think we've got enough tuna. Man, do you think I should? Um... I was gonna just try and like beeline it for plot, but I could also spend some time collecting tuna. Wow! Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Got tuna, that's excellent. I don't think I care about sea goldie. I also don't care about the red toothed trigger fish. There, we can let these get us more stuff. Oh my god, we have a Bruce in here! Oh my god. Bruce. Bruce, you're so big. I don't think I care about the... I mean, maybe these are all fine? 92%, that's bad. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I think I want to get rid of the white trevallis. And let the try and let the sharks breed a little bit more. That'd be kind of cool. Is Bruce most of the density? He's quite the large lad, lad isn't he?
can't breed with a single fish. Yes, <laughs> correct. Where does Bruce the shark come from? Deep down. Spoopy depths. Wait, how did we get one more? Okay. Hello. Oh, Bruce. No, in, in Raft, we called it Kevin the shark. I don't know why we named it Bruce. All right. Very important job. Very, very important job. Oh, Bruce is from Finding Nemo? Ah. All right. Don't anybody say I don't take care of Momo. There you go, Momo. You enjoy that high quality cat food? Someday you'll let me pet you. Bruce is also the name of the animatronic shark from Jaws? Really? I didn't know that. They named it after Spielberg's lawyer. That's very funny. <laughs> That's very funny. I had no idea about that. All right, real quick. Check Eco Watcher. Hey, this is big. We can turn in Research Shells 5. No longer need shells. All right, I need two skull and one more brittle starfish as well as sea plants. Uh, anything new in marine ka? Ah, uh, yes, a photo of a whale. Play the new game? I don't have time to play the mini games. Shiny deep sea fish sushi. Kind of just want to focus on plot stuff. Hey, piratical tendencies. Thank you for using, using your prime here, friend. For 14 months. Just noticed that my prime had elapsed. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm too busy gaming to game. All right. Let's take the mirror directly down. I don't think there's any other upgrades I want right now. I don't think there's any more upgrades I can afford right now. I really want to upgrade these two things. I don't think I need to upgrade these as 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 it stands. So, let's do it. To the sea people. I don't know if I love the scene blur. I'm going to go straight to the seahorses after this. Mima's restaurant opened. Long time no see, Dave. I wanted to tell you I'm back in the restaurant business, but I couldn't find your number. <laughs> oh, see, people have phones. The famous local dish of the village, Mima's seaweed dumplings. The dumpling skin is tight enough to maintain its form, even in the water. You should try some. How am I supposed to eat underwater? Oh. Oh. Why don't you just try one now? I'll make you a special version. I'm always down for delicious food. Dumpling. Uh, increases base damage of the harpoon gun by 10%. Uh, yes! Oh, I love her. <laughs> wow, it's delicious. I feel like I'm energized. Oh, it's not just a feeling. It actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffing, so take your pick. Oh, the effect of the seaweed dumpling dissipates when you leave the water. So visit me whenever you need the effect. See you around! Wow. Mima's dumplings can be ordered twice a day. 
Once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Dumplings give you a special effect that will last until you leave the water. I was kind of hoping to check the menu, but you know what? This is fine. This is fine. So I don't, I don't think steaming underwater is the problem, because you can imagine, like, you could technically boil it with a heat source underneath, right? I don't know, chat. Rule of cool. A lot of hand wavium that I'm okay with. Oh, you're back. My friend has something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately. To make sure I do a good job. <clears throat> Look at this pro job I'm doing, chat. Kind of just looks like a caulking gun, to be honest. Ah, God! Why do you rush on the down sections, Dave? Good? Wow, it looks completely undamaged. Ha, ah, looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thank you so much, Dave. We won't forget this. Why do we keep getting these tremors? They seem to be coming at shorter intervals. Oh, King Long, please protect our village. Did you lose your ball again? Did a shark eat your ball again? Where could Maro have gone? Oh, no, we lost a child. Okay, this is more serious. Uh, something wrong? Oh, human. Actually, Maro disappeared. I'm sure Maro went to the underwater lake. I'm sure. Underwater lake? Yes, it's a mystical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us not to go, as there's a frightening monster there. The thing is, Maro said there's a crack that we could fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid I'd get scolded, but I think Maro went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with a door in front, so no one can get in. But there should be a guide sign nearby. Please bring Maro back. Tenzin will be furious when he finds out. Okay. I'll try looking. A sign with the language of the sea people. Alright, let's go talk to the blacksmith and then drop off our um, our seahorses. Rule of cool, chat. They want to have underwater waterfalls and lakes. Let them have their fun. Alright? Mm. Yeah? I'm feeling better after eating the coral porridge. By chance. Could you gather some minerals for me? Minerals? What kind? Looks like this. I need quite a bit. You okay with that? Uh, opal? So that's what the humans call it. It's a mineral that's often used by the sea people to make weapons. Okay. I think I've seen some in the deep sea. I think I probably have enough to hand it over. Well, well. You gathered all the ingredients. I guess I have to thank you, human. Ha <laughs> ha! That was nothing, really. You feeling all right? Well, should be able to prepare for my work now. But, divine tree fruit is needed to smelt minerals. The heat has dissipated because I left it alone for too long. I need to go to the divine tree and get some fruit. I'm still not feeling well enough to do that, though. Cough. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me. You're talking about that big tree at the back of the village. What do I need to do? You're going to help me? I'll guide you. Follow me. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dua. Sure. Let's go bring back that divine tree fruit. Am I no longer near... Oh, well, crap. Up close, it's magnificent. 
If it wasn't for the divine... Oh, wait, sorry. <clears throat> if it wasn't for the divine tree, us sea people wouldn't have been able to survive. It was thanks to King Long's sacrifice. We're forever grateful. Cough. Anyways, let's bring back the divine tree fruit. Pick... Pick the divine tree fruit and put it in the basket. My body isn't recovered yet, so I can't wait for too long. Get me five fruit. Pick five fruit and put them in basket. Okay. Crap. No, don't move. Get back here. Oh my God. What a guy. <laughs> Great. This should be enough. Morning, Triple. It's time to get back to the workshop. Got there. The only shot I missed is when we weren't moving. <laughs> cough, cough. I guess I'm not well enough yet to travel. Anyways, thank you, human. Dave, right? I'll try opening the workshop when I recover. Give me some time. Okay, do you want? I'll stop by sometime. Please let me know if you need anything. All right. All right, seahorses. I haven't forgotten. All right. <clears throat> so I need to remember to replace fish. This is 41. That's worse. The spotted seahorse, 35. There is no spotted seahorse. Awesome. We're replacing the down arrow Pacific seahorse. Okay. So, replace you. Long snouted seahorse, 39. All right, we can do a new one here. So, spiny 48, spiny 41. Okay, this long-snouted seahorse is going to replace spiny 41. Lined seahorse, stats of 50. All right, we're going to put it in and we're going to replace... This crowned seahorse with the stats of 49. Crowned seahorse 57. Crowned seahorse 66. Okay. Big belly 35. Ooh, big belly 25. That's a huge upgrade. And then finally, we have a white seahorse. So let's just add it. Have we done a race? We did one, but I'd, I'd do another race. Let's do another race. Category combined. I don't know what that means. I don't know, this seahorse seems like it'd be good enough to win. I don't know why I wouldn't just use the best one, but whatever. Alright, I don't remember all the controls. Crap. Oh, we're going too fast.
Luigi. Best. That's me. Good job, little friend. Good talk. <laughs> I guess. Avi! Hey, friend. Thank you so much for 57 months. Wait, now it costs me seven? No, I'm out. I'm going to raise the price every time. That's a Leyland number. Oh, oh. It's a quest at the seed shop as well. here. How's your day going, Avi? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old, abandoned sea people storage. The glacial passage key is in that place. Suam will guide you. Godspeed. What's up, Shay? Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suam is the best warrior of the sea people. We'll guide you to that place. Follow me. I like when you talk about yourself in the third person. Right, I have uh, my neck gun on me. I didn't think about the fact that I might be fighting a boss here. Go and fetch me that glacial passage key. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? I have no idea. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. <clears throat> I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. That was like a thousand years ago, and sea people only live like 300 years. So don't worry. I'm nervous. Are you coming with me? I am the best warrior of my people. And you want me to do such a mundane task? I'll stay here and protect the area. Now get me that key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human. I needed Cleons, right? And Nautiluses, Nautili. Uh, let's check for potential upgrades here first. Oh, wow, big noises. For non-math folks, a Leland number is a number that can be written as X times Y and Y times X, or both X and Y are integers. I'm going to be honest with you, Avi. I definitely thought a Leland number was an anime thing. Uh, I'm going to actually switch to gun because I have a really big feeling that I'm about to fight a boss. Definitely thought a Leland number was an anime thing. <laughs> anime math, yeah. I'm heading back in here because there's a quest. That is not a times, that's an X. Oh, pardon me. Shows how much I know about math. Where's that book? Which book? Oh, human, it's good to see you. Wait, this guy looks exactly like our above ground opposite. Did you notice that? Uh, there's a book that contains the famous words of King Long. I can't find it. I wanted to read it in the evening while resting. Where is it? I remember borrowing it. From where? From the temple, of course. The temple has many books about the history and doctrine of our people. Oh, human. Can you borrow another book from the temple for me while I look around? <clears throat> it's called, There are Mutant Sea People in the Basement, and as king, I can't just stand by. I must do something. Volume 2. What a title. <laughs> it's a novel that describes King Long's great battles. Anyways, borrow that book for me from the temple. I'm not going back to the temple right now. I'll do that later. Yeah. 
Yeah, besides, it's before 11. I don't do math before 11. That sounds like something I would read. How dare you? I think any time a title gets that long, I just kind of like, I'm out. <laughs> hey, I'm actually very, very picky about the garbage that I read, okay? Not just any garbage will suffice. <clears throat> what a park light. Special garbage, exactly. All right, let's head on in. What do you think? Time for boss fight the fourth? Oh, it's cold. He should be deeper inside. What do you think these are? Hand. What a cute sea bream. Must have come through that small crack. Uh oh. Uh. What? <laughs> Holy cow! What's that? The ancient sea people Suam talked about. They're still alive? It's fortunate they're locked in the cells. Shouldn't draw their attention. Hey, look, mutant sea people in the basement. <laughs> Jump scare. Must be the room Suam talked about. There's the mural. But where is the key? The picture seems to imply something. A puzzle? In my diving game? In the square goes in the square hole. Ah. Oh, <laughs> the device. <laughs> That must be the glacial passage key. What a creepy place. I better pick it up and leave. Oh no, is it load bearing? At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? <gasps> oh no! After 10,000 years, I'm free! Tomb Raider reference? I'm pretty sure it was an Indiana Jones reference. Was that another earthquake? I heard something crumble. Uh-oh! It was probably nothing. I'm just gonna grab my gun for no reason. Oh, hello! Well, that's inconvenient. <gasps> Look, I'm hiding. I'm so stealthy. Good job, Dave. That's thinking with your fins. Oh no, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Gadon is the name of ancient sea people who are mutated for some reason. Oh, you can't kill them. You can only escape.
Really? <laughs> oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Frustrating. I just came from that way. Flee, Dave! Flee! What's up, Camping Viking? I knew Suam wasn't going to wait for me. Anyways, I got the key. Now to return to Pans. Uh, pardon? Oh no! He's come for revenge. Wait. You're robbing graves now. As if destroying the environment was not enough. What? That, that's the sea people's... Be quiet! Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to deal with the Sea Blue and the Wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly Sea Blue Armor RX-93 in its power. Oh, you absolute melon. You are an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, I understand. The missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct them at him. Is there anything that can deflect a missile? Oh, jeez. Ow! Don't punch me! I got punched. Is there anything that can deflect a missile? What's this? Well, that's convenient. Ow. Ow! Does this work? <laughs> nope. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this ends now. Oops. <laughs> 
Do we know this chump? Yes, he's part of the environmental protection group, Sea Blue. Uh, this is the... He warned us once, and this is our second time fighting him. Over this way, please. Oh, <laughs> ah! Oh, jeez. No, don't punch me! Wait, you punched me for zero damage. Eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is? I can't describe... I can't forgive you for destroying nature! I'm watching you. <clears throat> Watson out! <laughs> you are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it up to Cobra? You may find useful parts out of this. Yo, Sunborn, thank you so much for that prime. I really appreciate that, friend. <laughs> See a bunch of complex mechanical parts. It's time to deliver the glacial passage key to Tenzin. Are they causing the earthquakes? Oh man, good question. I was expecting an, another giant kraken or something, but it could be that. <clears throat> hey, you actually brought the glacial passage key. Suom told me he cleared the area, and the key is free to be picked up. But I guess you took <laughs> it took you some time. Uh huh. Yeah, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gadons? They're still alive. Gadons. There's a dark history about the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which do you want to hear? Good. I'm going to tell you the story of the Gadons, okay? I really hope it's a cutscene. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I should do my I should do my voice here. <clears throat> 800 years ago, the Gadons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of the humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However, there are always those blinded by greed. Dash. Dash Che? Dash. One of our senior technicians wanted to apply the powers of the fruit beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes. It all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dash was not satisfied with modifying the brutes, the fruits. He wanted to go even further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. <clears throat> he made tear he made termites. 
To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called the Yawi. Mm. I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about this? Mm. At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a, a steady supply of resources from the tree. Mm. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but had no clue what was going on. Mm. Then, one day... Rebellion! The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. They turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became violent and began to attack other sea people. So they are monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light. Oh, that's why you could hide in the lights. So they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But that happened 800 years ago. I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. That means, maybe, some of them could still be roaming the glacial passage. And you want me to go there? I beg you. The sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. <laughs> right now, you're the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and the temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Fine. Thank you, human brother. Sorry, brother. You have to say brother like a wrestling character. Oh, and take this, my gift to you. It's the Sea People Necklace. Wear this and the tube worms will retreat. Hey, that's cool. You know those strange worms that look like sticks? That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suwam to guide you. Wait. Is my day literally done? No dive? Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. Give me a second. I have to pee. Short bio break. And when we come back, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. BRB.
Hello! What's up, friends? Artemis Huntress! Thank you for using your Prime here. Thank you for the 23. Chair sub? Delightful. Perfect timing. Your lasagna is about to come out of the oven. Jealous. I'm jealous of your lasagna. <laughs> All right. What do I want to do with my life right now? So, we have very little on us currently. Do we swim back? Do we simply call it a day? Opal ore. I want to stop giving you all, all this stuff. What's up, Fall Pier? Thank you for 38 months. Oh, right, the temple. This game is just so beautiful. Big fan. Big, big fan. 38 months. I really appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> totally not a beholder. Thank you for using your prime as well. 38 months. I used to have a scuba diving business, but it went under. I think that might be our first. We had a lot of fish joke and swimming jokes, but I think that's our first scuba joke. So thank you for that. We had lasagna last night. I had leftover curry and it was great. <clears throat> Human, what brings you here? <clears throat> Pardon me. The owner of the seed shop told me to borrow a book. The title was very long, and I forgot. I understand. Kazan always reads strange books. Yamo, I was told you'd know which one, as it was previously borrowed. Do you remember? It's a book that Kazan borrowed. It might be one of these three. <laughs> Pictures of the divine tree and its fruit on the cover. Pictures of beautiful, sensuous-looking sea women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pictures of zombie-like sea people and the King Fuddy on the cover. The middle one, no, no. He wanted part two of King Long fighting the zombies in the basement. Trying to lead me astray, Twitch chat. I wonder what would happen if we took it up to the surface. Chat would never. There. This book. This is the one. There are mutant sea people in the basement, and as king, I can't just stand by. I must do something. Volume 2. Great job finding it. Awesome. I'll read it in the evening while drinking some seaweed wine. <laughs> Not really a gift, but take this. <gasps> Seeds! It's a very flavorful seaweed seed that's grown in our village. Oh, it might be difficult to grow on the farm. Human facilities. I'm going to try... I'm going to the villager's farmer, Gumo. If you're lucky, Gumo will be able to help you grow the seaweed. Awesome. Awesome. Now we could farm seaweed. Can I buy other seeds from you? Oh, you're going to teach me the sea people language? That's kind of cool. <laughs> nah. Now I have to go back across? No, no, no. All right. All right. Beluga! This is our second Beluga Jojo, but it has a very nice hat. Look at its little face! <laughs> Oh, bonk. Scuba, you're here. I've been missing a game of my namesake. Boo house repairs, but hello, friends. Can I talk to you? Oh, my God. You're asking me if I can harvest seaweed. Well, it can be harvested at the seaweed farm behind me. I don't want to do it for a human. What an unkind sea person. 
No, seaweed directly from here would be better for cooking. I'll have to try and convince him. This is the seed the chasm gave me. Could you please help me? Chasm gave it to a human? That's strange. I'm not sure what a human will be able to make with the seaweed. But I'll think about it if there's something extraordinary. Bring me a dish made of seaweed. All right. Look at this. Oh my God, hold on. Can I burn sick donuts in this, belu in this beluga? <laughs> Woo! Wait, oh, I'm trying. It's harder than it looks. Ah, we're doing it. <laughs> oh my God, it's so zoomy. All right, you know what? What if we just called it? No, 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 no. I do need some spider crabs. Let's go out the door here. We can do um, a little bit of, a little bit of hunting. I don't want to do like a full, full day. Cause again, I'm trying to do like a faster turnover, but it's fine. So I need to catch Nautili and Cleones. Nautili and Cleones. Oh wait, uh, no, I don't have the net thing on me anymore. I was gonna try and catch some more of these, but that does nothing. Unless. <laughs> oh my god, I found the net gun. Oh my god, the turtle's here! Hello! Oh my god, they're harvesting stuff. Can I kite them towards the, the, the giant turtle friend? Isn't that the seaweed collector Tsuchi and their leatherback sea turtle? What was his name again? Oh, wait, <laughs> that's really funny, little TNMT joke. I'm pretty sure the turtle's name was Donna. That's right, it was Donna, wasn't it? I didn't even put that together. That's so funny. That's a good joke. The giant leatherback turtle of the deep sea. What a wonderful sight. Let's take a picture. Ah, Sichu shouldn't be in it. I'll have to keep him out of the shot. All right. Hey, what's up, a little buddy? Oh my god, look at it eating! I love it. I love it. Oh, I missed feeding time. All right, hold on. Nope, nope. Get out of the photo. It looks so derpy. <laughs> you didn't recognize that joke? Oh, yeah. Wait, I missed feeding time again? All right, so I have to anticipate. I have to anticipate feeding time. I was too fast last time. All right, one last try. One last try. Turtles are so great. Turtles are one of my favorite animal friends. All right, you ready?
Take a photo without Tsuchi in it? Where is he? Oh my god. Well, I did not see him in frame at all. You saw his hand in shot? Let's go. Let's go. But now people are going to ask the question, who is feeding that turtle? Right? I'm trying to catch comb jellyfish so that I can get um, more of their, their electrical thingy. You know what I'm talking about? Boo. What if I just zap them? I don't have a pickaxe, which is kind of unfortunate. I uh, also really don't want the seven kilo dead ones. What do you think the drop rate is for... Um... For those... Whatchamadoodles. Ow, you're very rude. Don't hit me again. Ow! Wait, a shovel? What's a shovel for? Shovel? For hiding the bodies? Oh my god. Digging, presumably. Wow, thanks, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't say. Alright, I don't want to explore everything here. Uh, this is probably good enough. Oh! Assigned to the underwater lake. Okay, never mind. I found another quest I need to do, apparently. Oh, yeah, also, I also need to kill crabs. I apologize. Bonk. That's the door to the underwater lake. Crumbled rocks are blocking the way. I need a pickaxe. What do you think the chances are there's gonna be a boss fight inside of that cave? See if we can switch to a different weapon. Perfect. Big axe? Kill the shark? Eh. I don't actually care. If I don't have a pickaxe, I can't do anything. Go over this way and see if we can find a pickaxe. Sleep the shark and then rover it out. Maybe.
Thought I had an amulet for those thingies. Not yet. Not yet, I don't. I don't know if I'm wearing it right now. It's very rude. Can I please just have a pickaxe, please? I beg of you. Aren't they supposed to have like an unusually high drop rate? There we go. Ooh. All right, come on, skull. Nice. Need two more. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll try and tranquilize the shark just because he has so nice Twitch chat. Yeah, see, they're definitely not, not getting out of the way by themselves, so I have not yet. You don't just get to auto-equip the quest item. Just did your first night dive. Spooky. Isn't it so spooky, Smith? It would be kind of cool if we could get a tier 3 shark, though. Let's see if we can do it. Alright, you ready? Nope. God, nope. Alright. Does this work? Oh my god, it does. Ah. <laughs> Goodbye, little buddy. I'll see you at home. Oh my god. <laughs> they put in a little net. Amazing. I haven't actually grabbed that ammo yet, have I? Like to report a shark nap in. <laughs> uh. Hi, sweetie pie. Yoink. Hacker voice. I'm in. Can sharks nap? Isn't it sharks that never, is it sharks or dolphins that never actually sleep? They just turn like half of their brain off and, and like sleep in shifts? Or am I confusing that with like dolphins or something like that? Ow. It's dolphins, okay. It's dolphins that do that. All right, pardon me. Wow, this must be the underwater lake. What's up, Dogma? To see a lake under the sea, it really is amazing. Maybe I should take a photo. I mean, <laughs> aren't we looking for a child? <laughs> like, what's happening? Avoid the fog. We found the sub-ocean. What's that noise? <laughs> Dave, you and I, same page. Was the sound up? Nope. I certainly wasn't. <laughs> Was it to the right? Well, that's not a good sign. You ready for a boss fight chat? No! Oh my god! Oh, it's a goblin shark! Leave her alone! I was taking a look at the lake. That's when. Ba 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 ba. 
the goblin shark. This is a problem. Looks like I have to find a way. Oh my god, can you imagine? Okay, hold on, you got a different gun in here? Nope. Ow. Ow. Oh, am I dead? Use this opportunity. Oh yeah, it's actually called the Goblin Shark. This is like a real shark. Uh, and it is a very deep water shark too, right? Surge one, goblin shark zero. Hello, small child. Wow, barely defeated it. Thank you, human. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Well, I wanted to see the underwater lake. Get a load of this kid. Oh, let's go back to the village. Uh, boss is a rank 99, Brutask. Baro, I was worried. I'm sorry. I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? Was there really a lake in the water? I took a photo. You want to see it? Wow. It's amazing. Wow. I know you're disappointed, but be satisfied with the photo. There are dangerous monsters there. Okay. Anyways, thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. A curious child completed. All right. Let's call that a day. I think that was a very successful day. We're a little bit light on stuff, but that's okay. We're light on fish. We are heavy in quest proggers. And then I think, unless we have more quest stuff we have to do, um, we need to talk to Bancho to get... Uh, we need to talk to Bancho to get a seaweed dish, and we also need to get a ton of tuna. I think I'm actually good on seahorses. I think these are fine. We also shipped back a whole shark. That's true. It's true. And we got one more of the tentacles that we need. We need a lot of these, TBH. Favorite thing about the underwater lake quest is that they're a real thing. Yep. Goblin shark fatty meat. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Wow, a leatherback turtle. Did you know that its back is actual leather? That's why it can't hide its head inside its own shell. How sad. I'll put your picture to good use. All right, real quick. Talk to Bancho. I also got the last brittle starfish cracked. You want a goblin shark to be a creature type in magic? Yeah, there are sharks. It's doable, you know? All right. Cuisine made with seaweed. Simple dish using seaweed will not leave a strong impression. They probably have that at the village already. First, bring me seaweed, white rice, and sea urchin. I'll give you a harmonious blend of ingredients from the land and the sea. I need more white rice. Man, this rice. Meow, meow.
How do I get more nutrient? Every changeling is a goblin shark, if you think about it. You're not wrong. How does a sushi chef not have rice? So there's a side quest right now, Zergen, or a B plot rather, to um, start growing a better kind of rice. So we have like baby rice, but we're trying to get like the good stuff, you know? Yeah. We're trying to get the like S tier rice. All right, I think. Ooh, steel net sensor trap. Yes, yes. This is the stuff that we need. That's the stuff, that's the good stuff. It's gonna let us get a lot of tuna. But I do have three of these now. Comb Jelly Electric Organ. So that means I can talk on the iDiver app. And nope, that's wrong. I can talk on the weapon shop. And my goal was to turn one of these electric. I was thinking of making this a tranquilizer. Maybe I make this electric instead? I can make both. Inflicts 15% damage to one meat by our sea creature. Like, this is what I was originally hoping to do. Oh, cuttlefish skin. I need to be catching more cuttlefish, eh? That's fine. I could always make a second one later, or just upgrade the tranquilizer gun. That's probably a better idea. Let's try it. All right, you ready? Brace yourselves, chat. We got the lightning rifle equipped. Eco watcher, we're done with starfish. Marine ka, there we go, the three star. We also got the Goblin Shark boss card. Oh, right, and the Photo Leatherback Turtle. <gasps> we 100% in this region. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, we also got, wow, we also got another type of seahorse. I didn't realize the white seahorse was new. Oh, shoot. That means I didn't actually turn it in for seahorse racing. Dang. Okay. By the way, Dave, you're making good use of your gun? Y yeah. Get less meat if I kill it with a gun. It's often the case with smaller fish. But with stronger, bigger fish, it's easy to weaken them a bit first. If they're weakened, they'll show changes like bleeding or swaying. Observe them carefully. I see. If you need good guns, talk to Duff. All right, so there's no talking to them about that armor thing. Okay, uh, let's just get a bunch of tuna and call it a day. I think that's everything I need. Yeet! Wait, I have the gun equipped, right? Shock gun, yes. Yeet! Ready to catch some tuna, friends? Can you tune a fish? I'm a few bars and I'll find out. See you, seahorse. All right, 
And tuna. Hello? But there's always tuna here. Where's my tuna? Where's my feast? There they are. Oh, there's five of them this time. Oh my god, I'm getting so bullied right now. I, I missed. <laughs> Wait, I can catch more of them. Yo! Wait, crap. Now I feel really bad. <laughs> uh... Well, you know what they say. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This feels really bad, actually. Oh my god. Ow. I need to harvest this before it goes bad. Can I get a shock tip and or some more dollary dues? Uh, what is this? I, I mean, ask, yeah. Just, have you tried asking, chat? Just simply ask. Got some more of the seaweed we need as well, which is awesome. One thing that we've been needing for a while that I've really been struggling to get is the last of the fried egg jellyfish. I wonder where those are. All right, more tuna. I missed. Maybe they're not in season right now. I'm kind of frustrated because I got 9 out of 10, and then we advanced the plot enough that they stopped spawning. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, you know? I really need this to stop appearing and disappearing over and over. Well, I guess every time I right-click, it fades out, eh? Okay, fair enough. Touché. One down. Please, no bully. I mean, I did kill your friend. Alright, maybe a little bit of bully. Oh, jeez. Good shooting, Jaeger. Good shooting. <laughs> so much tuna. This is good, though, because I need... We 
have like a big tuna party tonight and I need as much tuna as we can get our hands on. You somehow managed to catch two tuna in the steel net my second try. Nice. Yeah, I got um I got two tuna in both of those, but unfortunately, I only had one activation of the mini sub. Now, I do need this I do also need this um seaweed, but maybe not as much as I need the other stuff. I think even if I dropped a kilo, it wouldn't work. You know what? That's fine. Let's let's actually just leave, you know? Just call it a day, shall we? What a fast dive. What was that? Five minutes? Five minutes and 45 seconds with a depth no deeper than 26 meters. But we're coming out with like... What was that? A hundred kilos of tuna? Oh, oh yeah. There's the good stuff. Look at that. Each one that we subbed out. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. So we got Akami, Chutoro, and Uotoro from the sub. We didn't get any of that other cut except for the submarine. So that's kind of cool to know. God, that's so much. 25 servings. Mm. <gasps> What's this? Uh, this is probably fine. A strong earthquake all of a sudden. The earthquakes are becoming more and more frequent and intense. I should check to see if Bancho Sushi is all right. No, not an earthquake on this, the night of our party. So, oh, this means it's tomorrow, doesn't it? Or is it tonight? It's tomorrow? Oh, well, I didn't need to do all the sushi farming today, did I? Well, that's fine. Short run. That means we don't have to worry about tuna. Bancho, I felt an earthquake. Is everything okay? Took some measures against earthquakes after crumbled last time. Last time, but I'm not sure how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Bacon, is everyone okay? Hey, Doctor Bacon. I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were all right. Well, looks like everyone's okay. Dave, what about the sea people? Any problems? I like that we we're supposed to keep the secret to protect them and then Bacon just tells everybody. The heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice in their village. Many sea people got sick because of that. To identify the cause, I need to go back down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate. There seems to be an eerie monster down there and I don't feel safe. Sounds like trouble, Dave! According to ancient records, sea people are very susceptible to temperature change. You should go down to the glacier ASAP and find out what's happening. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself to the sea people, even if it means getting frozen. Thanks, Bacon. Never mind. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Today we feast. <laughs> Delightful. a need to know basis and dr bacon thinks he needs everyone to know yeah but he was he was the one who had the idea earlier to like try and be a little bit more chill about it you know all right um ingredient prep master what does that mean permanently wait 10 percent chance of increasing the number of plates so I think it's time to level Raptor up to get the new ability. Cocktail serving. This is chill for bacon, that's fair. <laughs> so, like... 
I want to start training up our ninja, but I don't know what position they want. I don't know if they're a cook or if they're a server. Oh, they're a server. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. Got bad news, Kyoko. You've been replaced. <laughs> Oh my god. They're already lapping Kyoko. So hold on. Yeah, Kyoko only had 155 serving at level 5. Can I get one more training in? Staff with irresistible charm. Charisma increased permanently. Oh my god. Oh my god! So I'm assuming appeal... I'm assuming appeal helps with making people happy, like happier when they do stuff. Then we need money to drone or upgrade. You gotta spend money to make money. You gotta spend money to make money. It's fine. Get me soy sauce. Oh. Goodbye, Kyoko. Amount one to three. Okay, so this dispatch is lower. Neat. Interesting. All right. I want to research another tuna dish. So tuna steak is now unlocked. Why is our raptor so good at making cocktails? It's a very good question. Um, I'm going to cook all of these boss dishes tonight. I think it's time to make some money. Actually, no, that might be a waste of some of the ingredients. Let's make one of the boss dishes tonight. Because I want to make sure that all 10 get served, right? Wait, yes. Ah, this game is so good. Wow, this dish is just never going to make me any money, is it? I have no idea how many dishes I'm supposed to supply for a day. I'm worried about undersupplying, but I'm also worried about oversupplying, if that makes sense. So let's get the shrimp up there too, because they can get lots of this. All right, there we go. I think we are ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. Tonight is when we hit gold as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. You get over there, let this side. Hello, let me pour you tea perfectly. Then 
Thank you. Oh god, how'd I pick the furthest away one? Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> I don't see people ordering cocktails yet. Gotta go get those dishes. Gotta go get those dishes. Realize cocktails are a thing. I didn't either, but I have the magical ability to make them. So I'm going to assume it's good. How do you think we did today? Do you think? I guess I wasted a little bit of food there. I don't know. 28 new likes is pretty good. Oh my god, we made bank though. Good lord. I don't think we made big bucks, right? Because, like, these were $5.50 each, and there's 10 dishes of it. So I think I'm being limited by something. What do you think we're limited by? Is it number of customers? Or is it our cook speed? What's 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 holding us back? Like, why didn't we only... Why did we waste three of these, you know? Very curious. Limited by our imagination. Do you think we're limited by customers? Or do you think it's our cooking speed? Maybe too many things on the menu. I just wonder if I could have more... Just simply don't offer cheaper dishes. Hmm... We'll see, now that we're gold rank, it should see a qualitative increase as well. So maybe we'll start getting more customers at gold, right? I think at gold, we can seat more customers. Oh, wait, a cutscene. Ah, the wind is always cool and nice at night. I'm sobering up now. Beep, beep, beep. Hmm, the radar of the sea people detected something. But it's not from the water. How? I'm receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally formed. Worth an investigation. Oh my god, we're controlling bacon now? Hey, Pixar Dragon, thank you for the 41, friend. Prime number. Enter the cave. What a surprise! A mural in a place like this? Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw in the cave. Let's examine it closely. A picture of sea people and humans. Is this something that actually happened? Children of both humans and sea people hanging out together? <gasps> they gave us the the power of the uh, of the tree. Sea people are giving shining fruit to humans, perhaps. All right. Beep boop boop. It's okay. I played Skyrim chat. Hey, Zergen, thank you for the 37. Hawk, hawk, whale. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Speak friend and enter. Mm. 
Bravo! The door is open! It looks dark and creepy, but a true archaeologist will never miss this kind of opportunity. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it so full of bodies? This place. Look at all these bones and torture devices. I must examine the mural in the back to find some clues. It looks like the humans collapsed after eating the fruit. I don't think the fruit is edible. The humans hunted the sea people. Oh no! The sea people gave them a gift. The humans misunderstood what the gift was. Well, this is what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people were it not for a small misunderstanding. Let's first bring this artifact for further research. Sea people rebreather. Seems sea people made it for humans. It's from ancient times, but it's sophisticated. Wow, this! It's a breathing apparatus. Oh my god. What's that noise? What? Who's that? Why is he here? Pirates! Back to the boat! This is our turf. Give us whatever you have right now. They won't let us go so easily if we stop. Let's get as far away as we can. Oh my god, hold on. Is there another game? <laughs> what is this game? How does this game rule so hard? How? 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 You know what it reminds me of is actually uh, Battletoads. <laughs> Who remembers the motorbike race section in Battletoads? <laughs> I almost fainted. I must take the sea people breathing apparatus for further study. You trying to forget? Oh, it was brutal, right? Luckily that hard that race wasn't as hard as the battle toad one. I don't think I I think I beat it like once, maybe in my entire life. <gasps> VIP visit D-Day. Should see if there's any more tasks in the Sea People area. But first. The yacht party, tuna party tonight. Ho ho, the rice has grown. There's an odd energy to this region. Come on over to the farm. Okay. Wait, you loved Turbo Tunnel? You have the muscle memory from it? Wild. Okay. Try harvesting it. Wait, are these weeds? Hold on. Please stop screaming at me. You got the hang of harvesting now, right? Yes. But can I plant more rice immediately after harvesting? Well, the land needs some time to recover, you know. You just need to wait half a day. You'll be able to plant more. In any case, rice this quality should satisfy that director guy as well. Thanks, Bancho. Wait, I should get this to Bancho. Thank you, Otto. <laughs> Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'd be a waste for the crops to fall to the insects. What are these? <laughs> Let's 
go to the fish area really quickly here. This game changes genres as much as Near Automata. I never played that game. Obviously heard very good things about it, but... All right, we got more Puffer. We got way more Shrimp. Uh, anything else? We've got breeding pairs of tuna now. Big. Big. One Mega Mouth Shark, please. <laughs> Subtype variable. Can we expand the tank? Yep, that costs money though. <laughs> Which is funny because earlier, <laughs> earlier you're like, we should save for upgrades. And I was like, gotta spend money to make money. But now that I'm at 6,000, I think I'm close enough that I might actually be able to get the upgrade to the drone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save for that, but we'll see. I might change my mind at some point, too. All right, real quick. Let's talk to Bancho. Let's get the stuff that we need. And then uh, let's uh, let's feed Meow Meow. Hey, Bancho. You brought the ingredients. Then I'll start preparing the sea urchin seaweed rice. Here, speed people should be satisfied with this. Thanks, Bancho. If we bring it to the farmer, they're gonna start making us... Oh, uh, I should in uh, increase our cookstagram too. We'll get there, we'll get there. All right, high quality Momo food. <gasps> Momo looks pleased. She's usually fickle, but she seems to like you. But, what, something wrong? Momo disappears every night. I see, maybe he made a new friend. I don't know. Let me know if you see Momo at night. Okay. Okay. Let's head back to the boat. I think we have enough. I think we have enough tuna that I'm not going to bother catching anymore. Let's just do plot stuff. Momo plot. Yeah. Momo plot indeed. All right. We are now. Wait. First off. Earthquakes can't stop Bancho Sushi. Time to rank up. Wait. So we, we ranked up, right? We are gold rank? So I need to get a... Oh, I need to get a best taste up to 250. Oh. Wow. Okay. Interesting. 250. One more skull. Investigate regional ecology. <gasps> 15 glacial passage fish. Hello, this is Movie Wonder. The weather's getting a bit chilly. How about a creepy horror movie? <laughs> what if a giant mutant crocodile appeared in the sewers? Experience realistic horror on the big screen. Alligator. Delightful. Nice, look at this. Salvage drone, level two. Boop. We are so poor now. All right. 
Okay, give me one second. I have to pee, and then let's jump back into the water. BRB. Hello, I return. There's a good call to check my charms. Definitely like the octopus bracelet. Uh, I've never run out of oxygen, so let's not worry about the sea people bracelet for that one. So... I think I'm just going to put on the two worm one, because yeah, that is kind of handy. Be nice if I could wear a third charm, but this is fine for now. All right, um, I think we're just going to teleport directly to the sea people. I don't think we need to swim down. I think we are tuna rich. We have everything else we need. So yeah. That's the teleport noise, by the way. You watch that movie and sympathize with the alligator. It's so misunderstood. You know, if children would just stop flushing their pet alligators down the toilet, this would have never happened in the first place. Truly. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, let's maybe buy a dumpling. We got lots of currency. So let's see what other bonuses we can get, you know? Hi! Gun damage. Movement speed by 8%. I was really hoping there's a movement speed one. That's huge. Uh, tanky dumpling, melee damage dumpling, the feather dumpling. Oh, they combine. Increase movement speed and melee damage. Uh, I don't think I care about melee damage. So let's just do movement speed. love her so much. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel 8% faster. Can you believe it? Look how zoomy we are right now. Anything else I have to do down here? Yes. This underwater stardew, it's so much more than just that. <laughs> there is a farming mini game, but like, that's but one little part of it. Hello! Here's the cuisine made from seaweed. What are these little round white balls? Human cuisine? I can predict the taste. I'll give it a try.
What is this new taste? The soft texture of seaweed and the little white grains? They go so well together. This yellow thing, it adds such rich flavor. They're sea urchin eggs. Is it your first time seeing them? Sea urchin? The spiky creature? Humans eat that kind of stuff. I guess humans are able to use various sea ingredients. I'm surprised. Bancho is very serious about seafood. All right, a promise is a promise. I'll open up the seaweed farm for you. Oh. However, I have to make a separate farm to avoid food supply issues for the village. It's going to take some time. Please wait. All right, I'll be back later. People like fishing games in their other games. What if we put other games in our fishing game is such a good description of this game. Didn't you say an hour ago you were looking for a child? We saved that child. We are the best Dave the Diver, Jessica. Worry not. We saved that child immediately. Impressive. You didn't run away, human. Ah, Suwam will guide you personally. Stay close. Did you miss the end of the Michael Bay arc? No, no, not at all, Bobby. That's gonna be this evening after after our, our two dives today. Wait, the door's like right next to where I was. Let me see, where's the key we found yesterday? Good, now if I insert it here and... Ooh. Welcome. Good to know the key wasn't a fake. Oh, there's one thing you should know. You can go straight down using the middle path in the glacier passage, but must have been blocked to stop Gadons from escaping. There should be a contraption that opens the door somewhere. So comb through the area, human. I'm needed elsewhere. Goodbye. <gasps> New friends? What's that huge mural back there? Mural back there? Should take a picture and show bacon. Oh my god, there's new fish. Take 10 photos. Alright. Uh, let's group you together a little bit, please. And perfect. Crap. All right, let's group you together, please. And perfect. There's ammo right here. So let's catch everything. You're a squid? What kind of squid are you? Peacock squid. Oh. Maybe you're good to eat. I don't know. We'll find out. What rank were you? Barrel eye. Got one more bullet. Whatever. Barrel eyes are kind of creepy looking IRL. Interesting. Oh, Suam is the hero of the village. It's okay. Oh, man. This doesn't look fun. These contraptions are overwhelming. In video games, players touch this and find out how to operate them. Let's try.
I'm not smart enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Why do they put puzzles in my fishing game? There's also Gadons here. Should hide behind the statues. Wrong button. I was never here. It's like I was never here. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that one bit. I'll be right back. Why'd they have to cover it in spiders? Just crabs? Crabs are basically spiders of the sea chat. Don't lie to me or yourself. The ancient sea people. I also need the text, okay? Uh, I can't zoom out any more than this. Get the tree in it? How? How? I can't zoom out any more than this. I want you. I don't know who you are, but you're coming home with me. That's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Hello. The vampire squid. Oh, we also got the vampire squid tentacles. All right. Um, um, let's get you a little bit closer there. God, I'm so good at this game. Ah, uh, let's leave that for now. A lot of strange contraptions here. But I can fiddle with this one, too. Right, I can hide in the light. I forgot about this. Oh. Oh, when I hit the divine tree, a strong light came out of it. The Gadons hate the light. Maybe I can use this fruit. Should get away before they recover. Also have a light? Sure doesn't. Okay. I think I could have done without the light temple.
I think there may have been a faster way if you like got out and swam around. <sighs> like maybe you can achieve it in fewer than four rotatos or whatever. Oh, look at this new depth chat. How low can you go? Want that though? Right passage, but the door is frozen. <gasps> the orb! What? Hello. Can I offer you an orb to ponder in these trying times? That's fair. Toothy Kevin is legendary. <laughs> True, Snurge. Well, if the door remains open on this side, I can go straight down. There must be something that opens the door around here. Oh, got some kind of pulley thing. Ah, <gasps> look at all these fish, though. God, I'm the strongest man alive. Bloop. Wow. We're now in Metroidvania. I should take another photo. But it's frozen solid and won't open. I need to find something that can be used to melt it. I like how one of the major plot points here is that all the ice is melting, and yet we're in an area that's too cold. What are you? Oh, you're just the same thing as before, weren't you? I do need to catch like three more fish, but that's fine. Go to a new region. Okay, okay. Just sitting here waiting for Leviathan life form detected. God, can you imagine? Came no, don't put that out there. Oh, that makes that fills me with the ick feeling. Oh, look, they've combined all the mechanics. Delightful. Delightful. <laughs> So like, is that good? I need the orb if I want to melt stuff. So wait, why do I want to do this? Wait, do I care? Close that off. But if I close that off, that's fine. I guess it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, I scooped it! Out of me. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Wait, will it melt even further? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here! Do I want to scoop it again? I think I do. I think I do want to scoop it. I have no idea how much the statue is worth, but I imagine it sells for a buck or two. No, you're scooping it the wrong... Ah, you're fine. <laughs> Indiana Jones monologue, yeah. It belongs in a museum. But it's also worth a pretty penny, right? Yeah. That's my Harrison Ford, BT dubs. Uh, I bet you this is holding back a boss. Hey, I've seen this art before. This is where Merit Lodge lives. Ah, uh, I'm sure this is fine. Hey, look, coincidentally, there's bullets down there. That's a new friend. One sec. I want you to come with me. You're so tiny. What are you? The Dumbo Octopus. Oh. What are you? Oh, good. Oh, that's the whole fish. I just didn't have a silly haircut, so I couldn't see the full thing. This is fine. This is fine. All right, everybody, grab your safety hoodies. Let's find out what's behind door number one. Uh, that was unexpected. Wow, the mall, the wall was melted by the light of the divine tree fruit, and I can see a mural now. I move that rock but I don't have any tools I should return to the boat and ask Cobra okay okay wait am I well 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 oh never mind Yeah, the threefer. Okay, so I've caught lots of deep sea underwater fish. I have 75 kilos. Oh, and take another selfie of that wall? That's a good call, Chronicler. Yeah. It's interesting that this light is bright enough to, like, burn the ice. Oh. Yeah, nope. <laughs> uh, no. Apparently... No can do. I want to go kill one crab just so that goes away. And then 
let's call it a day and have ourselves our tuna festival, which also coincides with the arrival of the famous director, James Bang. Oh, I also haven't used my two um, drones for the day. Ow. I talked to the blacksmith yet? Uh, there's no quest marker. So I opted not to. Okay, that's closed off now. Don't forget the food for the seaweed farm. Uh, that also is later. I love you, chat, but all of your suggestions so far, literally the three things are things that I can't do so far. Get a photo, can't. Talk to the blacksmith, nothing yet. And seaweed farm is also later this afternoon. The game's pretty good about putting a giant exclamation mark. When it wants you to do something. Oh, can I get a skull? That'd be huge. Oh my god. Have you tried punching a fish? There we go. Now there's the real suggestion. Thank you, Arclight. Feed Momo. <laughs> I did! <laughs> Chat! Ooh, turmeric. No, no, no. I mean, again, it's fine. <gasps> Hello. Ow. Jeez, simply touching you inflicts violence upon me. If I had a way to tranquilize you, I'd take you home. Common cat food. We don't mess with that. Momo deserves better. Have I tried having fun? I do my best. Trigger bomb trap. Sure. That'll blow the shark up, though. Which I guess is maybe fine. You know what? Sure, the shark is good eaten, right? Wait, where'd it go? It's up for me. Right here. Oh, there's the crab I wanted to bob. All right. There's another thingy there. Eh. Gah. Another skull. Good. Isn't there normally a shark that swims around in this room as well? What are the skulls for? Archaeology. Hey, look, a new one. Hello. I am a sea person. Yes. 
Please be gone, tubers. Definitely didn't want to swim back all this way. I should leave. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Ah, yes, you, you there, uh, shark. Oh God. Ugh. This is the frilled shark, but that's fine. We can still use the drone on it. Olé! Olé! <laughs> Gameplay. I want more of the, uh, the special limbs. You got any of those special limbs? Uh-huh. It's fine. <laughs> Why does Keep Search keep saying with milk? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's get on out of here. So you want to take a rock out of- wait. So you want to take out the rock stuck in the crack. Then you should use a crowbar. Do you have one? Oh, oh, we found- we saw the crowbar stuck in the water ages and ages ago. I think I remember that actually. You may find it on the sea, the sea floor near the delivery ship. Yeah. Oh, where I found that giant squid. That'll be easy since the squid is no more. Oh no! That's foreshadowing for another squid chat. Good, what are you waiting for? I ordered a red crowbar. Uh, I think, oh, these are both just three meat, which means they're bad. Four fish statues. All right, let's see what those are worth. Look, look at all these new friends. Barrel eyes and white shrimp and peacock squid and vampire squid. Dumbo octopus. Whoa. Frilled shark is worth a lot of money. Interesting. Look at all this stuff. Ah, so I can't actually do anything with the Glacial Passage eggs until I invest a thousand dollars into this. That's fair. So he pointed out the difference between a piano and a fish. You can't tune a fish. Oh. I don't know about that. Oh my god, look at Momo! Oh my god, you're so cute, Momo. Meow meow. Meow meow indeed. Are they holding a- what are they holding? Yeah. I trained as a ninja for several years, but it wasn't easy to make a living as a ninja. What? Leave it to me, my lord. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Barely believe you hired me. Sushi's so good here, you think I'd eat all your profits. Working isn't easy. Urgh. Feed him, already dead. You can only feed the cat once per day. See? So I think Joe is back with lunch, question mark? Okay. So we're not gonna start our next day right away. Um, instead, what we're gonna do is this. Hello. Hello and welcome to lunch menu. I don't know why I said it that way. Hi, sweetie. So here's the plan. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chat for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then uh, back to the game. Perfect timing to have a good one, cat guys. So, more mac and cheese. Joe is spoiling me. How do you do, friends? What should our lunch topic be today? Hmm. Other than Dave the Diver, and why is it so good? Cutest fish? Easy goblin shark. <laughs> Feed you Seymour. Man, poor Seymour. He was just trying to make a buck in a tough world and ended up causing the collapse of humanity. Do they win at the end of that movie? I remember that the plant, you know, obviously distributes itself everywhere. And there's an axe fight at the end. But I can't remember if, like, I think the, the, the humans lose, don't they? Or, wait, 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 wait. Wasn't the original intention of the movie that they lose? And they showed that? And then audience hated it? So they um, they did a, a a redesign of the movie where they win at the end. Hmm. Happy ending, but there's a seed lane. Wait, 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 wait. So it's called the Little Flower Shop of Horrors, right? Yeah, Little Shop of Horrors. Ending. Yeah, why Warner's Brothers scrapped the ending? Why did Warner Brothers scrap their most expensive ending ever? The scrapped ending intended to pay tribute to the source material. Wait. The original 23-minute finale was directly based on the musical's ending, but had to be rewritten and reshot after test audiences gave negative responses. Seymour understands what he must do. Destroy the monstrous plant and Audrey too. However, his heroic attempt falls short as the creature tears down the shop to ruins, eats the owner alive, spitting out his glasses as the final cruel act to the audience. Then, three chorus girls appear in front of an American flag and inform the audience that Audrey too has become a global phenomenon, growing into an army of flesh-eating plants that have conquered the planet. Yeah! Yeah! Right? 
Despite the writer feeling strongly that the film should end this way, producer David Geffen thought otherwise. You can't do that. But he knew what Howard wanted to do, and I supported that. So they worked. They spent $5 million to produce, which is the most expensive Warner Brother film of all time. However, early audiences were frigid on watching a tragic ending. For every musical number, there was applause. They loved it. And then everyone died, and the theater became a refrigerator, an icebox. It was awful. Oh, wow. So they uh, they redid the, the finale there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how they had the original ending to the movie I Am Legend, and then they scrapped it. Yeah, yeah. Turns out most audiences feel like they need a happy ending. Most audiences are wrong. That's also fair. That's also fair. been pretty wild seeing Atlantis down there. I mean, this game is wild. I absolutely love this game. Hmm. If you make people feel good, they'll give you money. But like... Horror movies don't make people feel good, and people love horror movies. I mean, I guess only a very small subgenre of people, or like, subgroup of people love horror. Hold on, the terrible voiceover for Blade Runner was added to the audience reactions as well and ruined the film? I don't actually know what you're talking about, what terrible voiceover. There's, okay, this is extremely nerdy and extremely niche. So, in Dragon Ball Z... <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z, there's like a pretty iconic moment where Gohan watches his father die. I think this is in like the, I think this is in the Cell storyline or maybe the free, whatever. Gohan watches his father die, and that's when he first becomes Super Saiyan. And in the Japanese version, he's just like, it's super quiet, and he's like full of shock, and then like something snaps, and he like goes super mad and then becomes Super Saiyan, and that's like this big arc moment. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's watched his dad die a lot of times, but for whatever reason, this one, this one particularly gets him. But North American audiences couldn't handle that. So in the exact same scene, they gave him this, like, inner monologue. Where he has to, like, explain to the audience about, like, how upset he is over that he watched his dad feel. His dad die, and then, like, explains his feelings, and then becomes Super Saiyan. So same sort of thing. Same sort of thing, right? One audience can just interpret the emotion of what happens. <laughs> But for the North Americans, they had to be like, this is unacceptable. <laughs> oh. Takash posting, a, sharing a photo of the most cursed fish farm ever. <laughs> nice. As Futurama once said, you can't just tell the audience how you're feeling and that makes me so mad. <laughs> uh. That makes sense to me. I was really surprised the first few times I watched a Japanese animated thing, how little was explained. I think it depends on what you're watching sometimes, too. But yeah, I do... I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess it's the anime you're watching because there's also the like, you're watching a 22 minute episode of anime and they're giving you a recap of things you watched like five minutes earlier. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you sit there and you're like, I don't need a flashback. It's been three and a half minutes. How dumb do you think I am that you need a flashback right now? It just happened. Uh... But I digress. So there's a lot to be said in storytelling that A, doesn't assume that the audience is dumb and as such doesn't need to explain everything, which is kind of great. And two, sometimes it's nice to leave something open-ended and allow people to have their own interpretation of what's happening. Because like differences in interpretation leads to dialogue, which leads to like a really interesting, yeah, really interesting opportunities for people to have their own experience and they walk away from it, right? Yeah. You're proud of pancakes? I'm proud of you, Snurge. So yeah, big fan, big fan of media that uh, gets out of the way, you know, lets people actually engage with it. Flashback, title sequence, and previews at the end are a great way. To turn a 15 minute episode into 22 minutes long. I mean, that's also fair. Yeah. There's also like the Soulsborne genre. Sure. We have no story. We just have a bunch of lore. I appreciate that. Allium. Thank you very, very much for using your prime here. Audience engagement like this. Winky face. Thank you. People don't handle ambiguity well. The ending to Inception really made a lot of people uncomfortable. They had a need to like figure it out. I mean, Lost was pretty funny for something like that. People getting very mad. But like up until, up until they actually had to stick the landing and, you know, the Scooby-Doo unmasking. So it was you all along. There's a fun part of the audience trying to figure it out ahead of time. I mean, don't get me wrong. The ending of Lost was terrible. Where they went wrong is they should have simply been canceled, like the X-Files. <laughs> X-Files had it nailed, right? Make your plot as hopelessly complicated as possible and get canceled before you ever have to resolve it. <laughs> right? That's both hilarious and somehow correct. Yeah, Battlestar Galactica was a little bit rough when it was kind of like a dartboard of Cylon, <laughs> right? It was like, uh, you know, they made movies to resolve the X-Files. Nah, those aren't canon. Just like there's no movies for any of my favorite anime either. <laughs> They're always so bad. <laughs> Except for the end of Evangelion. Hey, look, it's time to get back to video games. Weird. <laughs> All right. Pardon me. What am I doing with my life? 
Oh, I'm finding out of how much statues sell for. Pardon me. Long distance underwater scooter. Sell at the Cobra shop. 300 each? Yo, let's go. Good stuff. Oh, right. Um, I can do this. So I think this gets us to level four of the Blue Hole Research Project. That's exciting. Level four. Ooh, we got the Eco Gemstone Bracelet. I don't know what that does. We also have these fish. Really hope we get some jellyfish soon. Uh, striped catfish and the sheep's head. All right. Uh, other things that we need are... Ooh, the white shrimp. So now we should have the glacial passage. Oh, interesting. There's only two more fish to catch in that. Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Look at its face. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, deep sea things. Am I right? Ah. <sighs> Ultimately, all good stories come down to soup. You might not want to stew on it, but I'm right. Stories need diverse ingredients, characters, and time to blend. Then the plot thickens. Oh my god, Gunner. <laughs> uh. Alright, if we get access to a good electric thingy... We'll hunt tuna, but otherwise we're not going to worry about it. All right. Ooh, ingredients. Never mind. <clears throat> Wait. I missed. Wait, can I catch you with this? No. How tanky are you? Hello? Wait, you died. Marbled. Do you think marbled means like the meat term marbled? Where it's full of like good fatty lines and as such is extra delicious? Or do you think marbled in this case just refers to its color? Meaning is the same. Is it? I think it's just the pattern in this case. In this case, it's definitely the texture of the skin. Yeah. The hush dart. Look at its derpy little eyes. Oh my god. What in the world are you? Hello? Oh, jeez. This is a new shark. I'm out? Oh god. Uh, it's dangerous? Kill it with what? I've got a I've got a tranquilizer. Oh, we just got the lightning harpoon tip. All right, should I try and take it on or nah? Uh, 
Cowardice is for cowards? Gah. Alright, I ain't scared. I'll fight a shark. Watch me. Oh, ho, ho! how's it gonna beat the sleepy toy hammer, chat? Oh, God. Oh, this is such a bad idea. All right, what's this shark's name? Is it Harold? Harold? God, I'm so good at video games. <laughs> Oh, easy game! Oh, man. Sorry, people are trying to tell me this shark was hard? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, looks like Tuna's back on the menu, though, chat. Oh, it bounces back and forth. I really hate how this loads in and out over and over when I'm fighting like this, you know? Yeah, there is some um, collateral damage here, unfortunately. I do feel a little bad about that. Base cat? Oh my god! 24 months. I need to go get some air. That's such a long time. Congrats on the diamond beam. And friends? Oh geez. Really appreciate it if you could throw some hearts in chat for that milestone. Oh, there's tuna everywhere! I think this is the good stuff here, eh? yellow fin? Do you think the yellow fin is more desirable than the other fins? Turned 25 yesterday. Can time please chill? <laughs> I got bad news. Blue fin is pricier, so we don't want the yellow fin. So this is the one that we really want, eh? This blue fin. One of the best ways I've heard time described lately is days are slow, weeks are fast. 
That really resonated with me. Good at video games. <laughs> Got him. Nope. I'm trying so hard to land two shots that I'm missing the one shot. Yeah, blue fin. Blue fin. Blue fin. What if I just say it a couple more times? Bluefin. Bluefin. Uh, so I don't really know how much more room I have here, eh? So I could ditch more of this marbled electric eel. Um, I don't think I need any of these seahorses, actually. That's only like one and a half kilos, sure. Actually, the seafood, the, 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 the sea fish, sea fish, has some good eating. All right, no, let's, let's grab them. Let's grab them and then we'll, uh, we'll make it work. I also have to get a crowbar. Want to make sure that we've got a feast for our guests, right? Right? Hello. I could send it back via the thingy, but this is fine. Are you gonna boot me? Very rude. Okay, let's call it a day there. Let's call it a day there. So I need to head down and to the left. Actually, let's check over here really quickly. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh god, am I gonna die to tuna? Am I gonna die to shark? So I was just checking over here for uh, jellyfish. mess with Bruce right now. Salt. What can I ditch? My inventory is just mono tuna. Uh, I could ditch some seaweed. No, I need seaweed. I guess it's the manta ray. That's not a manta ray. Alright, I'm hoping I don't have to use my emergency air here. I'm going to try and find something else first. backup bears now. Fine. I'll use one of them. Because I hate that flashing. Hey, 
There it is. Uh, oh, that's a hammerhead shark. That's a new friend. That's new. That's new, friends. What should I do about that? Should I also try and take it home? Ow. I have one drone left, but I'm also very full. Ah, <gasps> high quality cat food. All right, you know what? I could, I don't know. It's just such a bad time to try and fight it. I'm so full of tuna. It'd be such a shame to lose all of that tuna. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh, rude. Hello? Let me out. Let me out. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, I don't need any more of these, do I? Do I? A shame to let the drone go to waste. Oh my god, chat. So the crowbar, I remember seeing it. It's on the left hand wall here. It's amazing that I couldn't just take it earlier. <laughs> uh, I saw that tail over to the left, chat. Did you see that tail? I saw that tail. Tonian, thank you very, very much for that prime. Appreciate the 17 months of support and appreciate you using your prime here. <laughs> I've aggravated a colony of crabs. They look ferocious. I need to deal with them to pick up the crowbar. Really? Tough fight. Let me pick up the crowbar and go. Ooh. 
Shing! Why does it look so familiar? I don't know. Let me get back on the boat. <laughs> Alright, real quick. Let me see what kind of shark this is. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna look, chat. Couldn't tell. Couldn't see its face. No, uh, is that is that the whip tail again? No, no, no. That's a different shark. What kind of shark are you? It, that's the hammerhead. Yeah. Look at it. Look at its silly face. What if... I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead and I'm running. <laughs> Made a mistake. Oh, it gets tired. <laughs> hey, what's up, friend? It's you, the diver. Do you also make mistakes and pick fights with hammerhead sharks? <laughs> it had the better hammer. I don't even know if I landed a blow on it. All right, let's get out of here. There should be a um, emergency exit right around here. Sir Dave bravely ran away. Yeah. Somewhere around here, hopefully no shark. I know what you're saying, but Serge, I can't help but notice you're going deeper. There it is, there's the exit. Oh crap, I need, I need uh, this seaweed. All right, G, G, E, oh, G, G. Let's just leave. We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. You were reckless in your youth, that's fair. Weren't we all, weren't we all? I used to think I could take a shark. What a fool I was. Oh, that's the one I ordered. Ha <laughs> ha! So you take this rock, insert it between the cracks, and pull it hard like this. You mean crowbar, not rock? Then you'll be able to take out the rock. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Sorry, I just got a text I need to answer. There we go. Haha, <laughs> that's good. All right, since you're here, why don't you check your gear? And don't you forget to stop by Bancho Sushi. All right, uh, tonight is a big night for us because we've got um, Tuna Fest and we've also got the VIP. Look at that. Rank 9 Thresher Shark Meat. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, actually, look at that. The blue tail is worth way more. Oh, I guess it's level 4 versus level 2 dish, but still. Oh, nice. They're back. That mission annoyed me because I took the, the crowbar directly to the glacial area and wouldn't let me do anything. You have to take it to Cobra first. <laughs> that is frustrating. All right, it's the tuna festival. You can tell because the giant tuna fireworks. 
Oh man, this place is hot. Is the food ready? Be honest now. I won't chide you if it isn't. Here you are. This food will make your inspiration skyrocket. Looks like an explosive dish, all right. It looks nice, but will the taste justify its fanciness? Try it first. All right, you ready? Oh, yes. Ooh, it's a whole platter. Here you are, Mr. Bang. Enjoy. <laughs> it's coming to me. Yes! This inspiration is filling my soul. I haven't felt this way in a while. This rice. It's not easy to find such rice in these parts. How did you? I had some help from a friend. Glad to see you like it. If you'll continue making your masterful movies that pluck at the heartstrings, you're welcome to eat here whenever you like. You're quite the man. I like your style. Perhaps my next movie should be about a sushi bar. Should feature a man with a missile launcher in one hand. <laughs> In any case, I'm all set thanks to you. This is a robot samurai poster with my autograph. Have it as a gift. My gosh. Robot samurai. Look forward to the next movie. I'm sure it's going to be an exhilarating one. Oh my god. Hey, thanks for answering questions about the game. I picked it up and I love it so much. I'm glad to hear that very witty reference. Glad to hear it, friend. Oh my God. Actual game of the year. Yeah, yeah, you're not even wrong. All right, let's get Maki up to level seven so we can see what her other special ability is. Cooking plus plus. Oh. She doesn't have other skills. She's just even better at cooking. Gaudy of the year. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Oh, you love the raptor? Yeah. Can I train people from here too? So, I want your Procure to be higher. Only goes up by five. Procure goes up by 20. Let's see if that makes a difference. No, still only two to three. Let's go get some black vinegar. Baki is now rolling, boo. All right, so today is the tuna festival. So all of our dishes need to be tuna. And that's not entirely true, but that's what, ooh, what's this? The tropical fish sushi set. I mean, be rude not to have one of those up there. I can make it with everything. <gasps> oh. What if I upgraded it? Wow, $500 for a serving? Worth.
All right, let's get the tuna up there. First things first, can I improve this dish at all? Yes. Let's get this on the menu. I'm gonna improve this once. I tried black vinegar coffee. No, I haven't. I haven't even heard of black vinegar coffee. What's that? All right. Um. Hey, scenario. Oh my goodness. 31 months of the God sub. Thank you so much, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I want to set that to auto supply instead. Shoot, I put up 27 servings of that by mistake. And if I take it off the menu, it, um, does it turn into something else? Discard all of it. That's really frustrating. That's so frustrating. That's fine. That's fine. Cause like if I reload, I'll um I'll have lost the entire sequence and the cutscenes and all that stuff. It's fine. It's fine. It is tuna fest after all. So what we can just do is we can actually upgrade these a whole bunch. Because we've got plenty of servings of other ones up already, right? Hope that people order a bunch, right? All right, what is the highest level dish? I need to get something up to, wow. Even if I use all of those seahorses, it only gets me to 200. How am I gonna get to 250? start upgrading everything. What's this? Oh, salt. Ooh, vampire squid. Oh. compare my dishes to see how much each one improved for upgrade. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> ah, good joke, streamer. So I figure I'll get there. Definitely diminishing returns, right? All right, we got a full menu here. Uh, let's put one more thing up there just for the day. Let's get the most expensive item on the menu. Oh, that's 10 servings. Uh, there you go. One Mega Mouth Shark Sushi. All right, and this is really gonna hurt me, chat. I need you to keep your eyes peeled your eyes peeled specifically on this. I don't want you to tell me how much we had wasted, but tell me how much we wasted. Can't believe I put all 27 up there and I can't fix it. It's very upsetting. All right, it's time. Hello, tuna aficionados. Would one of the three of you like a drink?
How should we peel our eyes? Like an onion? If possible, yes. All right, the good news is people are ordering this super expensive platter. Twenty-seven out of twenty-seven. Nobody's ordered even one. Oh no, no! Not like this. <laughs> Nobody's ordered even a single one. This is devastating. Are you kidding me? I guess I just need to stop putting stuff on the menu. Like, I keep thinking I need to put... I need to fill it, but wow, devastating. I mean, stonks, we made, we made actual bank, but still. My tuna, my tuna. Didn't want to run out of food, it's true. So how many, how many customers did we even have, right? Devastating. Actually devastating. <gasps> Momo, the plot thickens. Meow meow. Ah. <gasps> <gasps> That's Momo. Wait, walk fast, sit, mimic a cat. Oh my god. It's nothing. I was just, uh, no, no, no. It's cool. Momo's going to vouch for us. See? See? <gasps> yes! They all joined! Look! Three cats. Momo got new family members. Lovely. 
Let them stay. There's lots of food around. Yeah, especially after tuna night. Dave, help me take care of the cats. Sure, Bancho Sushi will have more meows. Momo's secret. Get to know Momo a little bit better. We sure did. All right, you know what? I can't think of a better moment to end on than that absolute upside. Check in with Joe. We got a, we got a lot we got to get done this afternoon. So apologies for the shorter day, but thanks for watching, everybody. This has been absolutely delightful. Hope you had as much fun watching as I had playing today because this game continues to be one of the greatest of all times. <laughs> This game is so fun. This game is so fun. Ah. All right. So reminder, there's no stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be busy all day filming stuff with Lur down at the office. Uh, Tuesday, of course, I'll be over on the Mine O'Clock channel. So Wednesday, we'll be back doing our usual thing. Oh, right. Actually, randomly tomorrow night on the Loading Ready Run channel, I'm going to be playing Fortnite. So come, come check that out if that's your thing. <laughs> um, yeah, Fortnite with the Lure Boys. But yeah, this week is super duper busy for me. And I do apologize with Barcelona coming up. Because uh, reminder, I'm going to be in Barcelona at the end of the month. Um, my, my schedule is going to be all over the place. So if you're not already in the Discord, hop in there. That's why I do the most of the uh, the updates that I can do. And if I find that I have to cancel a bunch of streams for whatever reason, I might do some bonus evening streams. Uh, when am I going to continue? I I don't know. I want to get it. I want to get in as much as I can. Um, I'm going to try for next weekend. It might be in the evenings instead of the morning. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Follow the channel if you're not here, and I'll um, I'll do my best because I want to keep going with this game especially before I leave for my trip, because it's it's just so delightful. This game is so much fun, you know? All right. Oh, this is unusual. Wait, what day of the week is it? Yeah, the Rare Sunday Benjamin Wheeler stream. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to go send some love over that way. Uh, what is he doing? Talking about Gladiator. Hey, my buddy Wheeler is playing Magic the Gathering. I like Wheeler a lot. Uh, but he occasionally says bad words like butts, so just be aware. But otherwise, go make a new friend. Thank you so, so much for joining, everybody. You're an absolute delight. I'll see you next time. Bye.